what is going on guys welcome back to another video we're gonna do a cook video yet again uh, on the new vehicle I got which I'm currently in I got this vehicle for free and it's actually not half bad surprisingly it's something I would have never bought but since it was given to me I thought why not and we uh, we might have a new vehicle to do some cool things to so I got one of those uh, angry sheep so that kind of gives away a little bit and as you can see it is a Durango I got this 2002 Dodge Durango given to me by uh, my girlfriend's parents I guess they I guess they liked me enough they gave me this they were moving they didn't want to take it they asked if I wanted it they said how much they said free and figured why not so it has a couple quirks to it but it's only got 166,000 ish kilometers on it. It's four wheel drive, I guess all wheel drive with four wheel drive. It seats up to uh, seven, I believe, and or seven or eight. Yeah, <laughs> can't really go wrong with it. So first thing that was wrong with it when I got it, as you can tell by the duct tape marks, this window regulator busted. Turns out that's very common in these. So I ordered the window regulator, replaced it, and this window worked. And then, today on the way to work, if you can see the crack maybe at the top, my driver's window fell down on me and broke too. So I jimmy rigged it for now and I got a new window regulator on the way, which means that there will most likely be a video on, uh, on doing a window regulator for one of these. But yeah, anyways, so it's 2002, it's a Dodge Durango. Um, there's actually some pretty neat things you can do to these things. Uh, I never really thought a Dodge Durango would be kind of cool, but you can get body lifts, you can do super easy lifts. It's actually torsion bars in the front like my white truck is. And I think we're going to do some cool things to it, try to keep it super budget. And then for the most part, this is going to be like a winter beater. So, like I said, I got the other window regulator on order. And then other than that, I've done the basic maintenance like oil change and a few other things here and there like a battery. And got it up and running and it's it's been not bad actually i've been driving around for the last week getting a feel for it seeing what else uh, breaks on it and once i kind of get the kinks worked out can actually do some cool videos on maybe some cheap mods or or i guess not mods but tr cheap upgrades or cheap uh uh cheap gimmicks you know like <laughs> and just try to do something cool with something that was free and surprisingly it's not bad on the inside inside don't look too bad at all I cleaned it up pretty good it's you know it's 20 20 year old car so it's uh, it's been well used it was a family vehicle at one point got my little baggie or my goods all my tools but the back isn't bad at all and then for rust actually surprisingly the rear of the rockers are rotted out which I guess is very common on these it's also got these hideous side steps I really hate those and then other than that it's just the rear tailgate which is also supposed to be pretty common is starting to rot out as well but other than those few little things and a little bit of faded paint it actually isn't too bad then also the other thing too it's it's got the 47 which I believe is a 318 I might be wrong but from what I understood from looking up uh, the 47 it's supposed to be not a powerhouse it's supposed to be a pretty angry little motor it's just rev happy all the time um but other than that it's supposed to be pretty reliable so that's kind of cool uh it's to dodge man i don't know much about them i've never never ever thought about owning one never been out on the market saying you know what i want to dodge but here we have one let's do something with it so hope you guys enjoy my quick walk around this this free durango and look forward to some uh future videos possibly on uh, on the old uh, Baha Baha sheep. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.